Hey everybody, day six of 21 days of prayer and fasting. It's January 13th, tomorrow's January 14th. We got a great message, I am in all of our Mana Church locations. We've been talking through a theme for 21 days of prayer and fasting and it's found in scripture. Be holy because I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Holiness is not a ranking system. Holiness doesn't mean you work hard to be better than anybody else. Righteousness, doing the right thing, has absolutely everything to do with doing right things, but not so you can be holier and therefore better than thou. It means different, different than thou, if we're going to stick with the way that I've been saying that. The Bible says in Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7, consecrate yourselves and be holy. Why? Because I am the Lord your God. So I told you this week, consecration has two parts. You got to take something off. You got to put something else in its place. I've made these big points all week, and I want to, I want to kind of, I want to kind of bring this home with this point. Walking out your faith will require change. It will require you to change. It will require your actions to change. It's going to require your mind to change. It's going to require your thought life to change. It's going to require change. And here's, here's how the change is going to happen constantly. I'll be frank with you. I think this is the undersold, toughest word in the Christian faith. It's this. It's the foundation stone to every other word that you'll walk out in your life. Why? Because following Jesus requires a trade. All of you for all of him. So what does this mean? This is the hard part. This means constant change. Constant surrender. Constant choice. Constant surrender constant choice you confront how terribly hard that seems and what you find on the other side of that choice is that Jesus meets you and empowers you and does the impossible work of perfection but then he rewards your obedience with his presence and his life it's it sounds like it sounds like I'm being a little bit tough and I'll be honest because I am it's a brand new year and so that means 2024 is all laid out in front of you. So you have something, you have, a, you, have a, you have potential, you have a choice today, right now. Choose today and act today and get up tomorrow and do it again. At Man of Church, we have a vision to change the world. And that only happens when the change starts in us, in me and in you, and then works its way out. Why? Because we're the vehicle of the advance of the kingdom of God. Listen, it's been a really cool week, Man of Church. So what are you prepared to do? How will 2024 look different because of what God's done in you? See ya.